Former Pennsylvania Attorney General Kathleen Kane's professional life as a lawyer is over. She's just been sentenced to 10 to 23 months in prison. Hi, I'm Chuck Gallagher. And when it comes to political ethics, I'm on your side. You see, once a rising star in Democratic circles, uh, Kathleen Kane was forced to resign following a conviction of perjury and obstruction, both clear examples of political ethics gone bad. Now, she's expressed remorse, of course, and she's appealing, of course, but her bruised ego will eventually be forced to concede the fact that her common sense and vision were clouded by her anger and arrogance. The problem she created for herself stemmed from a story written by a local newspaper and a charge by her predecessor that she intentionally dropped an investigation into Democratic politicians accepting bribes. Kane's predecessor, the one who initiated the probe, was a Republican, Chief Deputy Attorney General Frank Fina. Now, Kane, well, she could have let the charges go, or she could have explored the charges. Instead, Cain let her ego get the best of her and decided to wage a war, a personal vendetta against Fina. She did this by intentionally leaking sealed grand jury documents about a former case that Fina had explored. Then Cain lied, saying that she did no such thing. Now, if you want to read the full story of Kathleen Cain's facing prison, click here. The prosecutors, well, they want Kathleen Kane to go to jail as she eroded public trust in the Pennsylvania Attorney General's office. Her defense team says that she is, she is not a threat to society and she should at worst be confined to house arrest. She wants to be at home and not in jail in order to raise her two sons. Hmm. Does her crime warrant being jailed? What she did in leaking sealed documents was not victimless. People under oath are exposed. The grand jury and its deliberations were revealed, and people might have been put at risk. Now, if Miss Kane never sees a jail cell, what are future cases where grand jury documents might get leaked for political reasons? One thing that's true about ethics is it's hard to know where the consequences of this place will settle. One thing must be made clear. No one. No one is above the law, not the Attorney General, not anyone. So if you want to learn more about political ethics, visit my website. That's ChuckGallagher.com.